Oh, Jane, hey, how's it going? Uh, so what happens if I lick the lens? Nothing good, probably. But do you know? I know it's not good. <laughs> but have you tried? No. Let's do this. We definitely felt like the Valiant game was one that we could win. The previous week was one that we should have won or could have won at least. It was a 3-1, but we felt like it easily could have been a 3-1 in our favor with some, you know, just slight differences to how we did some teamwork stuff. Uh, so this week we really wanted to focus on teamwork and our, you know, general strategy. It's kind of nailing down a basic one and, and really trying to push it to the limits. You playing this week? Yes. And I play versus... Uh... Mediator, destroy them with my heels. We felt like we were, you know, gaining a lot of good practice and our reviews felt like we had, you know, pretty good data and just, you know, good general cleanup stuff that we could talk about. I think one of the biggest things as a team right now that we're trying to nail down is how we work together in game with, you know, just being all on the same page. So when we're in the heat of the moment on stage, you know, everyone kind of has a similar thought process. And I think we've kind of overcome a lot so far. Um, even though our, our record doesn't really show it, our team has been through a lot and we're, and we're getting better with every week. So We really wanted to do the best we can to try to get into, into the plans because you know I think that if we can clean up this kind of weird teamwork aspect that we're working on, um, then I think that we could be a really good team. So you know this week has been really focused on that. On match day, everyone was actually feeling really good about it. The confidence in the room for that match was definitely higher than it had been. When you're on a losing streak, kind of like we are, when you're in, in that rut, sometimes it's hard for some players to you know, be optimistic. And you know, our goal is to try and keep the energy as positive as possible. Good manager. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I've had a catch in. <laughs> all right, we've been working our butts off as a team to get these wins, all right? So today, we're gonna go in, we're gonna be focused, we're gonna work as a team, and we're gonna fucking do it, all right? So listen, be confident and be ready to go, okay? We're gonna burn blue on three, ready? One, two, three. Burn blue! Welcome back, everybody, to the Overwatch League. Joe and Monte Cristo with you now for our second series of the day. Dallas, they have such a hard schedule this stage, and they basically have to win three of their remaining games to even really be considered in playoff contention, and it's got to start here. One, two, three. Now Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Side on the main wall, this block off completely. He's gonna use that death boss right away, and now catches another one. Two kills for AKM, and Gary Hook with the follow up. OG frozen on the point, but that's okay, because there's no real pressure on the tank right now. And Dallas, just as smoothly as Gladiators took it away, will take it right back. And they might be able to just win the round right here. Can anyone get there? Looks like Lucio very close. Big Goose can't quite make it on the point. And we are tied up on Lee Tower. Kevin Duncan Zachary doesn't want to have to use that ice super early, but he does. It's blocked for a bit, but AKM from behind. The flanks from AKM have been so good on this map. Gets three just on his own there. And that's an easy retake for Dallas. And a hard fought Lee Zheng Tower at the end. Looks like it's going to go the way of Dallas Fuel. Not much more the Gladiators can do, that's it. Listen, this energy is perfect. I want this every time. And we absolutely abuse those Reaper TPs. May not looking good at this stage. Oh, Especially not looking oh, good at oh, What? That's a sweet sleep dart. Oh, that was brutal. And it looks like they're only going to give about 60% at this point over to the Gladiators. Great defense from the Dallas Fuel. So the first half, um, I think that we were definitely on our game. You could tell that our cooldown usage was really good. Uh, we were following up on our calls. Everyone was pretty much on the same page. I mean, you could tell that Gladiators was kind of on the back foot, and so we were able to take advantage of it. For both map one and map two, um, I think that we were definitely the stronger team. All right, let's finish this out, boys, okay? King, King's Row's our map. Hey, keep it up. You got this, baby. There's a delay a little bit, but AKM drops immediately. Blizzard comes in from Zachary, right on the payload. They're 0.46 meters away. Void with the kill on the Harry Hook already. And only the sound barrier stands between Dallas Fuel. Uh, don't worry about it. It's okay. That's fine. 
Gladiators get back on the point. They've got the wrecking ball. They've got Harry Hook run over by Boyd and drilled down. So the Gladiators at the end, finally picking up the members of the Dallas Fuel. And it's really looking like we're going to go to a map five. Just have to deal with the Tracer and that's it. We definitely let those two maps get away from us. A lot of the little mistakes that we were taking advantage of before weren't really there. And they were playing a kind of different style than they were the first two maps. And I think it, it, it took us a little too long to adapt to it. The energy was definitely lower because it, it felt like we were letting things go and, and it was kind of, I think we kind of struggled to kind of pull ourselves back together at that point. They're down, they've only got the wrecking ball and they've only got Harry Hook to try to contest right now. Note gets popped out of the, out of the mech and there goes the rest of Dallas Fuel and there goes their chances of winning this series. In the end, the Gladiators, the Geese, okay. able to come up big and get the win. After we got reverse swept, I think everyone was was pretty heartbroken um, because that was definitely one that you know would have ended our losing streak, and it was one that no one expected us to win. If we were able to close that out, it would have been you know really good and really positive for us. But getting reverse swept like that, it's the second reverse sweep we've had in in the past four matches, and um, you know everyone was was pretty crushed by it. It was a different kind of one. It's it's not one where we got blown out it was you know because it was a close match and we kind of let it slip away you know we, we were overall proud of how we performed but um you know obviously not being able to close it out really kind of stings very close very close um i think there's a lot of good things we did um definitely some stuff we can improve on um, but we're still not out we're still not done like always we always pick ourselves up and we move on okay we've we're still not out we've still got four more matches and we're going to play every single one of them with our best, okay? Getting reverse swept like that is definitely one that's hard to get over in a short amount of time. I think it takes a lot of mental fortitude. Um, but, you know, we just we really just tried to focus on the shock match, so. Um, our practice was okay. Um, we felt all right going in the match. Um, you could tell that the, the players definitely wanted to win this one. I mean, shock is a is a giant in this, in this meta, you know, especially uh, compared to where we're at right now. Um, everyone wanted to win it, and we, we did our best to stay focused. Still fighting to keep the fire alive. Let's welcome to the stage the Dallas Fuel. Closer as well, as we're still in OT in favor of the shock. <laughs> Architect connects with <laughs> one. Oh, no. Smurf and Moth pick up two more. Architect now safely able to play from the back line, wait for his chance to get in. AKM guns him down. Dark behind the pillar. Now, another Bionade. It's five people. It's time for Sinatra, oh. baby. In he goes with the Dragon Blade. Already three. Oh, 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 oh. Got himself four. Test the point as it's just OG with the chance here, but he's the only one San, rolling around. The yeah. San Francisco Shocker on another level. And there it is, map number two. Three players caught inside that blizzard, and the rest will choke open. It's going to chase them up now. Transcendent Immortality Field, all the trimmings, bells and whistles. And Harry Hook. Doesn't last long either. Eh? He's rough stuff for the down field. Whole hog now to force away Trill, even though he gets super, he might still be struggling. No tries to store things out on the payload for a little bit longer, but Trick Over just takes a breather in the cold winds. Blow through. San Francisco complete the clean sweep. The 4 0. And I'll be honest with you, everybody, they make it look easy. The Dallas Fuel are in dire straits. To losing 4-0 like that, um, especially after just getting reverse swept, uh, definitely is kind of a hit to our confidence. You know, going against Shock right now, Shock is still a very strong team. I'm obviously one of, one of the strongest teams in the league, and so you know, we were optimistic that, that we could perform pretty well, but losing the way that we did, I think, felt worse than getting reverse swept because, you know, the reverse sweep was close. We didn't necessarily play bad, where in the San Francisco match, we felt like we really didn't perform up to our own standards. Those are the ones that, you know, really kind of hurt more. You know, we're at a point where we have to win the next three matches and we have to win them pretty convincingly and we're reliant on other teams to do specific things. So our play-in chances are both in our hands but also not in our hands. We have three matches left. Our goal is to put our best foot forward and really finish out the season strong. So, you know, we're, we're just gonna do our best. We're gonna be optimistic and we wanna make sure that, that we can be the best team possible and we're gonna give it our all. To all the fans out there, um, thank you so much for supporting us. You know, we're, we are kind of in our rut right now um, and, and, you know, we're 
it, it feels kind of bad to, to be on the losing streak that we're on, but you know, just know that everyone's still really, really focused and, and really motivated to improve. Um, you know, we're, we're gonna trust the process and, and really just try to come out of this, you know, positive on the other side. So um, we're working super hard to get there and working super hard to make our fans proud. Um, so for everyone that's given us words of encouragement, it, it means so much to us right now. Um, and, and, you know, it, we're really just pushing forward and doing our best to become better. Thank you so much.